Consider the following differential equation. This is second order, since it contains second order derivative of y with respect to x. And it's also non-homogeneous because of the right-hand side not being zero here. And we need to solve this differential equation by first finding the complementary function yh, which is the solution of the associated homogeneous equation. And so the first step is we need to work out an auxiliary equation using the coefficients of y and its derivatives on the left-hand side. And so in this case, we had 1 times the second derivative of y with respect to x. So that gives us 1m squared, 6dy dx, so that's plus 6m, 9y, so m squared plus 6m plus 9 equals 0. And we could solve this using the quadratic formula, although in this particular case, it also readily factorises to give us m plus 3, m plus 3. Therefore, the solution of the auxiliary equation here is m equals minus 3. And that's actually a repeated solution in this case. So what we then need to do is decide the form of yh. And because this is a repeated solution, rather than being two real distinct roots or complex conjugate roots, let's see what we do. And in such a case, the complementary function yh will have the following form y will be equal to e to the power of negative 3x in this case times a plus bx. The second step is we then need to look at the form of the right hand side of our differential equation to find yp which is a particular integral or a particular solution that satisfies the de. And you'll notice on the right hand side here we have a polynomial. That is, we have an expression of this general form, a0 plus a1x, in this case plus a2x squared. And what we then need to look at is whether 0 was a root of the auxiliary equation. And 0 was not a root of the auxiliary equation, because both roots of the auxiliary equation were negative 3. Therefore, the form of yp will be this general form, where because our highest power of x with x squared, here it's going to be b0 plus b1x plus b2x squared for yp. And what we need to do is solve for these unknown constants b0, b1 and b2. And the way to do this is if we find the first derivative of yp, which is yp dashed, that will give us in this case b1 plus 2b2x. And differentiating that again with respect to x, the second derivative will be 2b2. And because this is a particular solution of the de, we need to substitute these derivatives back into our original de and find the values of b0, b1 and b2 that hence satisfy the de. So substituting in our second derivative, that is going to give us 2b2. We then had 6dy dx, so here that's 6 times b1 plus 2b2x, and then plus 9y, so that'll be plus 9 times b0 plus b1x plus b2x squared. And that is all going to be equal to the right-hand side of our original de, which was 9x squared plus 21x minus 10. We then should expand the left-hand side, which will give us 2b2 plus 6b1 plus 12b2x plus 9b0 plus 9b1x plus 9b2x squared and that is going to be equal to 9x squared plus 21x minus 10. And what we now need to do is actually group like terms. That is, group all x squared terms together on the left-hand side, which was just 9b2x squared. Group all x terms, which was 12b2 plus 9b1x. And then all constants, which was 6b1 plus 9b0 plus 2b2 and that will be equal to the right hand side of 9x squared plus 21x minus 10.
And so we can equate coefficients of x squared, which will tell us, in fact, that we must have 9b2 is equal to 9, and therefore b2 is equal to 1. Similarly, equating the coefficients of x is going to give us 12b2 plus 9b1 equals 21. Now we already know b2 is 1, so that will just become 12 times 1 is 12, plus 9b1 equals 21, and therefore b1 is also equal to 1. And then looking at our constants in this case, we have 6b1 plus 9b0 plus 2b2, all of that is equal to negative 10. So once again, we can substitute in what we've already worked out. That gives us 6 lots of 1, so 6 plus 9b0 plus 2 times 1 is 2 is negative 10. And from that, it easily works out that b0 is equal to negative 2. So therefore, since this was the general form of yp that we had, we now know in particular that in this case, we have yp is negative 2 plus 1x plus x squared. Now, we also found earlier that yh was of the form e to the negative 3x times a plus bx. So the general solution of our dey is yh plus yp. So hence, in this case, the general solution of our de is e to the negative 3x a plus bx minus 2 plus x plus x squared. So that is the general solution of this second order DE.